Following the passing of Queen Elizabeth II, her son King Charles III, the successor to the throne, promised to serve the country with his life. A period of national mourning is declared in the UK. Kim jong shil has the full story. As the Queen herself did with such unswerving devotion, I too now solemnly pledge myself throughout the remaining time God grants me to uphold the constitutional principles at the heart of our nation. That was his first world, address to the nation the as the new monarch. The he also bestowed the titles of Prince and Princess of Wales on his eldest son William and his wife Kate, the titles he and his late wife Princess Diana held. BBC reported that Charles would be officially proclaimed king on Saturday at St. James's Palace in London. Like his mother, he has become head of the Commonwealth, an association of 56 independent countries. On Friday local time, Britain declared a period of national mourning, which will continue until the end of the day of the state funeral, which is expected to take place at Westminster Abbey in less than two weeks. U.S. President Joe Biden told reporters on Friday local time that he would attend the funeral. Hundreds of flowers have been laid in front of Buckingham Palace and Holyrood Palace to mourn Britain's longest-serving monarch. Oh, I'll get my stone. <laughs> yeah, we just love the Queen. I think she was a wonderful woman. And Chapman came up for her jubilee. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we just wanted to come up and pay up the respects and her work. It's, it's like other people have said, it's like losing your grandmother. It's really like losing your grandmother. She's been there my entire life. Yeah. Meanwhile, condolences are pouring in from all parts of the world. President Yoon suk yeol paid a visit on Friday to the British Embassy in Seoul and mourned her loss. Also, on his official Twitter account, he said that her kind heart and good deeds will remain in our memories. French President Emmanuel Macron said her wisdom and empathy helped us all steer a path through the historical ups and downs of the past seven decades. With her passing, we all feel an emptiness. According to AP News, Russian President Vladimir Putin also sent a message to the new king, expressing his condolences to the royal family for their, quote, heavy, irreparable loss. Kim Jong-sil, Arirang News.